G'day! In this video I want to show you how to use historical imagery. That's one of the most useful applications of Google Earth if you want to have a look at um, change over time. So here I am in uh, Yarraman, which was um, the field site that I've been looking at in the last couple of um, videos. I'll just turn off the, um, the place marks and the photos so we get a good um, view of what we're looking at. If I go up here to the clock, you can see that this photo, this particular one, was taken on um, the 27th of April in 2016. Now you can slide this to all different time periods um, and it will show you the image that was taken in that particular date. So it goes all the way back to 2004. The quality wasn't as good there of the image in 2004 because the quality of the satellites taking the photos, the technology wasn't as good, but it improves as the years go up. So you can see, um, for example, um, they're starting to build the um, East Link Freeway. So they're starting to clear the land. You can see the roads starting to get build to, uh, built 2008, uh, 2009. Looks like it's built 2010. And you can have a look at all the different time periods. Some of them um, also depending on what the cloud cover was like, the quality of the image can, um, can change. Uh, how's that useful? Well, if I go somewhere like um, Pakenham, You might be doing some sort of an urban study in one of Melbourne's growth corridors. If I go down to uh, 2001, you can see here Pakenham being quite small, lots of um, agricultural land surrounding it. 2002, 2006, you can see it's starting to expand out into the farms, um, expanding further and further. All this part was um, farm land 10 years ago and that's the um, the current extent, extent of Pakenham. So you, you can go to all the different suburbs of Melbourne you can have a look at the, the way they've changed. Another one, a um, bit of a sad story, but if we go to Marysville so obviously Marysville was um, devastated by bushfires in 2009 so if I go here to 2003 you can see Marysville, lots of trees around, um, quite a lot of buildings around. If I go to 2009, um, you can see the fire's gone through and the town's basically been devastated. That's taken in 2010, so a year after the fires. And then 2014, you can see a lot of the, um, the town being rebuilt. Um, so there, it's a great way of seeing um, change over time using that historical slider.